Hello everyone and welcome to today's short tip video. So what we're going to be doing is taking our list of names you see here in column B. So we've got a total of what, 18 names there. And we want to split these not only just into three teams, but we want those teams to be randomly generated. So if I was to hit F9 now, because the formula is still in there, you can see it's going to continue to update. But continuously, it's always going to be in a random order. So some of the functions I'm sure you're probably already aware of, but what we'll do is delete the formula out that we're using at the moment uh, so we can rebuild it starting from scratch. So the fundamental part of this formula is going to be using something called wrap rows. So if you're not familiar with wrap rows, and if I could spell it correctly, all it simply does is allows us to provide a range of rows, so like I'm doing here, and then after the comma, so we've only got two inputs for this, we can provide the number of columns we wish for that to be split over. So for us, we have three teams. So I want this row or all these rows split over three columns. If I close brackets and hit enter, you can see how those names have now gone from being just a list of rows into uh, obviously three columns. However, at this point, you can see going from left to right, it's simply just maintaining that same order as we had in our names list. So Serena, Keen, and Palmer is your first three here, Serena, Keen, and Palmer. This may be suitable for you because you could say, well, it's not random, but you do have obviously a different ordering in terms of team one, two, and three from top down in our names list. But we want this to be, is we want it to be completely randomly generated so there were no patterns or you know favoritism based to how someone was uh, appearing in this list. So in order to do that, we just need to update mainly just this little section here to ensure that everything is being randomized. In order to do that, the first part we're going to do is change our range here to sort by and then open our brackets. And this is now where we are going to put in our names or our range of names. So if I click on Serena down to Lyle at the end there, and then what do we want to do or how do we want to sort this range? Well, we want it to be random and lucky for us, there is a function in Excel called rand array. So if we type in rand array and then open brackets, we can now, all we need to do now is obviously provide you know, how many items there are within our range. So for us, we're going to use now the last function, which is counter. So go into count a, open brackets, and then lastly, or once again, should I say, select our range of names like so. And then we just need to do some closed brackets. So a closed bracket here. So this has now given us the total number of values in our array. And then our next closed brackets is obviously closing off our random array. So our random array is basically going to pick a at random eat a value or a number, should I say, within our total ones available. So obviously it's going to continue to randomize that to make sure that everything is, again, I keep using the word random, but it's going to obviously make sure it is random. And then last, close brackets, is going to close off our sort by. So where previously all of this section here was just a simple basic range selection here, nicely highlighted, you can see how we've now utilized sort by and random array fundamentally to make sure that it's going to produce our values in a random order. And then just for clarity, if you forgot the beginning, the three at the end here is simply just defining how many columns we wish for this, uh, these rows to then be split over. Once we're happy with that, we'll just hit enter and you can see how our array has now updated. So we obviously had that formula in before, so you would have seen some names here, but now hopefully you've noticed that they're in a random order. So rather than having Serene, Keen and Palmer, you can see if we were to try and find them, we've got Palmer's here, Serene is here, and then who is the other one, Keen. So you can see comparing our top down three here, you can see how they're randomly selected with even Palmer being before Serene and if we now use F9, you can continue to refresh that formula to further randomize these uh, three teams if you so need to. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please don't forget to give the video a like. And of course, feel free to drop us a comment below if you do have any questions at all. If this is the first time watching one of our videos or you've watched in the past and you're still yet to subscribe, could I please ask you to not only hit that subscribe button, but also that bell notification button. That way you should be notified of all of our future videos as they come out.
So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.